This course is an opportunity for students everywhere to talk about poetry. What aspect of war is Whitman helping us see here? He's now looking at more of the human aspect and like the realistic, um, just what people are doing when they're not fighting, and kind of the less glamorous side of war, like the just making it through a river on your horse and getting to the other side. The course is set where the history of American poetry began. It just feels right. You know, yeah. this is where he started, in essence, as a poet. Well, this was so. a, a printing and publishing neighborhood, so this shop dates to 1875 as an exhibit of the museum. And right. at that time, there were as many as 800 printing offices in this neighborhood. Amazing, and it just fits because we just walked through the, the newspaper industry, which wasn't that far away. Mm -hmm. So the printing business really kind of like all concentrated on this lower east side of Manhattan. At the center of this course is conversation. George Oppen gives the last part of his poem over to a quotation from Walt Whitman. You know, if I'm a judge and I have this amazing quote from Louis Brandeis. Yes. I mean, man, I make sure you're, to use that quote. You're going right. right. That's right. Because Be it's an amazing quote, and because Louis Brandeis says it, said it, gives me a kind because of credibility. Because the law is historical, and because the law is historical, and and uh, one judge builds on another judge builds on another judge, and one case builds on another case. But I wouldn't have thought that poetry works quite the same way. I would have thought that poetry is much more. Uh, every person wants to be creative and original oh, and innovative oh. in ways that judges actually would not want to do. We offer you the opportunity to think through a poem, which is a very, very active process. Do any of you feel uncomfortable about Whitman standing around watching slave auctions? I think as we said before that looking at it now, it's from my perspective, as long as you're sitting there and not saying something against it, it's almost as if you're saying it's okay to happen. What position do these lines put the speaker in? I'm just, I'm just wondering what the, this poet might be working through in these lines. Um, so I feel like he's kind of just there to sort of, um, I mean, he's almost crying about it, really, like for me, at least. Because it seems like he's sort of sad and that he's going there and he's like, why is this happening? How could this be? But I don't feel like there's really anything that he could do about it. This is a course that allows you to encounter poems. If you are in New York someday, take this poem and walk out to the middle of the Brooklyn Bridge or take the ferry and read it to yourself, letting Whitman um, guide you around the sights he saw in the river. And I think you will uh, have an experience of communing with this poet. Um, you'll find quite moving. Mm -hmm.